I think it's important to step back and remember that workplace violence, unfortunately, is rather common. Uh, in 2017, there were 450 uh, murders uh, on in civilian workplaces, and in 2016, almost 400 itself. Uh, and in the military, we're not immune to what happens in society. And if you look back, you know, almost a decade ago now, uh, the Fort Hood shooting, uh, where a dozen people were murdered, uh, and then numerous, almost every year since then, we've had uh, isolated but very sad uh, incidents of workplace violence uh, on military bases. And so uh, we'll see what the investigations show with respect to especially the Pensacola shooting uh, and what the motivation uh, was of the Saudi national. Uh, but uh, it's a tragedy wherever it happens. There's a very natural tendency uh, to jump to the conclusion that because the shooter was a Saudi national, uh, that this is an act of terrorism. And I think we should resist the impulse to jump to that conclusion and wait for facts to be developed by the FBI and the military and follow the facts wherever they lead. If it was a disgruntled evil individual who was mad because he wasn't going to get his pilot wings or he wasn't getting the qualification ratings that he wanted or he had a beef with somebody or there was a girlfriend involved who slighted him, and he did these horrible acts because of that, well, then that's that. If there is some connection uh, to terrorism, well, then that's that. But let's not assume uh, that because he was a Saudi national in their air force uh, and he murdered our people uh, that he's a terrorist. He's a murderer. Uh, we know that. Uh, but that's all we know right now.